Hello and welcome. For today's screencast, we assume you're familiar with the features and functions that modern online backup services can deliver. What we'll do here is to show how to sign up for an online backup service, download and set up its software, and get an initial backup underway. We'll conclude with a discussion of what this does for you, explain how much a subscription can cost, and provide some resources for further exploration on this topic. To get this process going, fire up your web browser and navigate to www.carbonite.com. As many other online backup companies do, Carbonite offers a free 15-day trial of its services, after which you must pay for a subscription for its continued use. To get things going, you must type your email address into the first text box in the sign-up window. We used our digital landing demo email account. And then provide and confirm the password you'll use with that account. After that, simply click on the Sign Up Now button to begin the sign-up process. Note also that the service does offer a Macintosh option, but that you must click a different link to take that path. A Get Started screen appears next, where you must click on the purple Click Here button to download the Carbonite client software that will run on your PC. When you do so, a file download window appears on which you should click the Run button so that the Carbonite software may be downloaded and installed on your PC. Windows will ask you to confirm your desire to run this program in an open file window. Click Run again to begin the installation process. A series of small program windows will pop up on your screen to inform you that the installation is getting underway. Files are being copied, software is being activated, and so forth. In a minute or two, you'll see the Almost Ready window showing on your screen. Here, you'll have the option of listening to an audio introduction to the program's use, or of skipping the intro and moving straight on to the next step in the installation process. If you have a couple of minutes to spare and aren't already familiar with backup software and its operation, Listening is probably a good idea. The Choose What to Backup screen shows up next, where Backup My Documents and Desktop is selected by default. Unless you have reasons to make manual selections or know you want to backup everything, you can let this choice stand. As the window observes, you can add or remove folders from your backup configuration anytime you like, after the software has been installed anyway. In the screens that follow next, you get a lightning introduction to how Carbonite works and what it does on your system. The welcome screen is followed by an explanation of the program's operation. As the pop-up help screens indicate, Carbonite adds color-coded dots to Windows Explorer listings to indicate backup status. A green dot means the item is backed up, a yellow dot means backup is pending, and no dot means the file hasn't been selected for backup. Likewise, you need only right-click on files or folders in Explorer Displays to access a Carbonite menu where you can instruct the software to backup or not as you choose. Once the software has been installed, Carbonite goes to work in the background, creating an initial backup snapshot online. The software indicates that this process normally takes 24 hours to complete, sometimes longer. Progress on our test machine indicated that it would probably take 20 hours, and inspection of the network utilization data from Task Manager showed us that Carbonite meters its use of the Internet to 0.5% on a 100 megabits per second segment, 250 kilobits per second, in other words, to prevent it from interfering over much with ordinary network usage. This will work fine for those with high-speed Internet connections, but will have a definite impact on dial-up users. What makes Carbonite attractive is that it puts no limit on the amount of data you choose to back up. Some reports mention users with as much as 200 gigabytes backed up, though Carbonite reserves the right to terminate customer accounts for overuse. 
An annual subscription costs about $50, the software works reasonably well, and the data storage is pretty open-ended, as long as you don't overdo things. We think you'll find this a good option among the various options available. The sampling of online backup providers now showing on your screen indicates many free options for online backup, though these are usually limited to between 1 and 5 gigabytes of storage. Notice also that many services do once-a-day backups, which works best during downtime to prevent interference with regular work. Those products that do continuous backups, such as Carbonite, but also BackupRite, Data Deposit Box, and so forth, are likely to work best with high-speed internet links because they will run whenever you save a new file. This offers the best kind of backup protections, but does take more of a toll on your system and internet bandwidth. If you look around and sample one or more of these options, however, we're sure you'll find something that works for your needs, your budget, and your internet connection. Please go to digitallanding.com for more information, other screencasts, and articles about your digital lifestyle.